I was recently sent yet another one of uh, those new class D amplifiers for review. I have the feeling that recently they have been springing up like a mushroom after the rain. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. Uh, it's just a Polish expression. I'm from Poland and we have those uh, weird sayings. But um, anyway, this one uh, luckily is a bit different from the rest of the crowd and has some interesting features and use cases. So let's have a look at uh, the Duke Audio A100. Before we continue, I have a small favor to ask. It doesn't cost you anything and will mean a lot to me. If you're interested in audio gear reviews, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video if you find it useful, of course. This will help me spread the word out and uh, grow our community and bring even more, hopefully, informative uh, content uh, to you. So, Duke Audio A100. It is uh, advertised as a 300 watts uh, amplifier. And I think uh, you should take this uh, with a grain of salt. Um, of course, it uh, provides a, a, a huge amount of uh, powers, definitely much more than I will ever need in my listening. I'm not a, a very loud uh, listener. It arrived to me with a 48 volts, 5 ampere version of the power adapter, so it should put out around 240 watts, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, the power, of course, differs depending on the mode of operation. Because this uh, can operate as a, as a stereo amplifier, as well as a mono amplifier, meaning it uh, can be used as a mono block if you have two of them, and then the power basically doubles. And this is uh, also thanks to the um, PFFB technology that uh, was used in this amplifier, which means uh, pulsed filter feedback uh, technology. Um, basically, it means that it can drive uh, speakers of different impedances uh, much more easily and effortlessly without losing too much power and in a much more linear fashion. So that is good. And I don't know if it's a new technology. I heard it recently, I guess when Fozzy Audio introduced their monoblocks, V3 monos. I have yet to review them. Uh, they've been sitting under my speakers for like a month now, but I haven't had time to review them. So I will do that soon. And if you want to hear my thoughts and comparisons with different amps, um, definitely stay subscribed. But I digress. Let's come back to Ducodio A100. It uh, can also be used as a subwoofer amplifier because it has, uh, besides uh, being able to be used in the stereo and mono mode, uh, which you use this rocker switch. I like I like them to choose between off uh, stereo and um, mono. You have the, the second one. Let me zoom in on this one, maybe like this. And it says flat and sub. Uh, flat, it means uh, that uh, it works as a full frequency amplifier and sub means uh, that it, it acts as a low pass filter and uh, only passes through low uh, frequencies. So you can use this as a passive subwoofer amplifier. So it's uh, gonna be great for different kinds of uh, DIY projects, for example. I myself plan to build uh, open baffle DIY speakers uh, myself soon, so uh, I might want to keep that and uh, use it to power uh, subwoofers as well, passive subwoofers. 
if you switch it into the sub mode, those two knobs become operational and you can use one of them to uh, regulate the uh, cutoff frequency and the other one can be used uh, for gain. In flat or full frequency mode, you have uh, two other knobs that uh, become operational. One of them is the general volume control and the other one is the volume control for the auxiliary out because uh, this amp also have a three and a half millimeter auxiliary out. So if you use it in the stereo mode uh, and have two speakers connected to it, you can also add uh, an active subwoofer, for example, and then uh, use this uh, auxiliary out uh, volume knob to control the, the active subwoofer. And if you want to use it as a monoblock, uh, you just uh, use two of those uh, binding posts. They are, by the way, uh, pretty nice. They accept uh, all kinds of uh, banana plugs, spades and bare wires as well. It has, uh, I would say, an industrial vibe to it. It is quite heavy like 1.2 kilograms or two and a half pounds. So it feels uh, pretty solid. It's all aluminum mm, case. And the the outer shell is, uh, as far as I can tell, made from one piece of aluminum, just uh, the top plate and back plate are uh, screwed in. The interesting thing is that this uh, entire case acts as a, huge heat sink, which means that it can dissipate uh, the heat generated by the power uh, by the amplifying chip quite effectively, which in turn in turn means that uh, the chip can operate uh, more eff efficiently because uh, the heat is uh, dissipated uh, better. This is a very bare bone amplifier. So it means that it doesn't have an internal DAC or Bluetooth and only has one RCA input. But for a desktop uh, application, it shouldn't really matter. I hooked it up to an external DAC, uh, which also serves me as a desktop amp. Uh, it, this particular one is a Fozzy Audio K5 Pro which I will be reviewing soon. And uh, they pair it uh, very well. If you need more inputs, uh, you can add a preamplifier. I used uh, my recent uh, favorite finding from AliExpress, uh, PJ Miao Lai M1000, no, SA1000, which is uh, a tube preamp and it has uh, four sets of RCA in so you can add uh, different uh, music sources like a turntable or different DACs etc. When I was testing this uh, amp uh, as my main listening amplifier the most minimalistic setup I had was uh, just uh, connecting this to the Arelic uh, S10 Plus uh, streamer DAC that I have also reviewed recently. It comes with a remote control. It's uh, just $69, so uh, it makes uh, a very cheap combo out of those two um, products. But anyway, it comes with a remote control that uh, allows you to control the volume on, the, on this streamer DAC itself. So you can do it from your couch on, or from your bed and you have a fully functioning system. Sonically, there is nothing unique about this uh, amp uh, when compared to other Class D amps like uh, Fozzy Audio ZA3 or V3 Monos or AIMA, A70, etc. 
those uh, very popular recently amplifiers. The sound is uh, strong, clean, bass is uh, well controlled, uh, mid-range, the vocals, female and male vocals are, are clean and well separated. Uh, the upper frequencies are also well controlled and not uh, shimmering not uh, very bright of course it depends on the rest of your system what uh, speakers you have paired with it what amp uh, what preamplifier if any but again what sets this amplifier apart and uh, makes it an interesting candidate for your next purchase is its versatility and the multitude of use cases that you can uh, apply uh, with this amplifier if you're just starting this will be a, a, a great starter amplifier for your stereo setup later on if you need more power or more channel separation you can add um, a second amplifier like this one and use it as as mono blocks and then as you go higher and uh, want to play with uh, some diy passive uh, subwoofers you can use this amp as uh, as a passive uh, subwoofer amplifier oh i forgot to mention the price uh, it currently goes for 200 uh, us dollars both on amazon and directly on the duke audio website and i guess at this price considering the power of this amp how well it is built and how versatile it is it is a, a very tempting option if you are on the lookout for a, for a new amplifier so this was my perspective on this amplifier the perspective of a regular normcore guy that uh, likes listening to music and playing with uh, audio gear if you found it interesting please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel i will be posting much uh, more audio gear reviews uh, pretty soon as as, as i have uh, a line of products uh, stacking up uh, behind my back and for now thank you for watching and see you next time bye